So yeah, my apologize for the inconvenience. Really, the X had broken just two minutes ago. Luckily, the slides are plain text, so it's somehow working. My name is Jiří Vaněk, I've run in the OpenJDK team, and I'm going to tell you something about the Temur in JDK. That's also a solution. Feel free, feel free to quit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the solution for the really, really broken slides is that, yeah. Okay, um, first we need to fix the vocabulary a little bit because uh, really Temurin, JDK have nothing to do with the Chinggis Khan. It's just runtime anagram. Yeah, that's important to understand. Now, uh, I need to ask you, there is, there is an audience in the numbers I was half expecting. So I need to ask you, uh, who knows that Temurin JDK exists? That's surprisingly more than a half, okay. Okay, who ever actually really met it, like on the pages, on installation? Still more than half, actually, thank you. Uh, who care whether it exists? Uh, except you. <laughs> he cares, yeah, it's making him alive. <laughs> uh, who ever encountered it really outside of any CI? Hmm, you guys are really using that? Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, so who installed it because it was offered? It's part of the SDK man, part of uh, uh, well, any tool providing Java. So usually you have the cho 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 choice of the Tamarin JDK. So that's how you got it? Yeah, I'm a Java developer and it was recommended what we should do. It was recommended. Hmm. And actually anybody met it and it was recommended and he was desperately looking for something else? Nobody. Good. And last one, who is not in, on purpose? Uh, that I mean like you were really searching for the Temur in JDK, you wanted that to be your runtime or SDK. Nobody. Thank you. <laughs> uh, before actually getting to the Temur in JDK, I need to sum up the little bit the history of the opening of the Java. Java is there since some 1995. In that moment, it was more of a specification, a little bit of the source code and a Java doc. A reaction of the open source community was, as usually, the open Java, in our case, GNU class pass in 1988. In that moment, we had finally free API. Most of the source base of the runtime Java was opened. Most of it, not all. Uh, open GDK itself was established in 2006. That was a milestone. Since that moment, we have a name because the Java is a trademark, open GDK is not. And we have also the shared runtime jar. In that time, there was runtime jar code base. So you really, what you were running, you had the source, source goals for that, but you could not build it, not even if you really tried hard. Again, a reaction from the open source community was the IST project, which was implementing the missing parts. And since IST 7, let's say it was in the middle of the IST 6 lifecycle, actually, but we have finally sources for the VM also from some tools, and yes, you were really able to build your own Java from the open sources. So it was how many years? Five, well, quite a lot of years after the opening of the Java. Open GDK 8, we can call it the first truly open source Java. There was everything, VM, tools, and uh, all the runtime jar thing, all the classes, and actually some of the tools were never opened because they case to exist before they could be opened. But we were still missing the reference build. Oracle was providing reference build. That was something that open source community usually cannot live with. So the Temurin JDK started around 2015. You can find in the internet that it started actually 2003, but it's not possible because Open JDK 8 was started in 2008. Now, another milestone, 2021. JDK finally catch up with the rest of the world and moved to the GitHub. So you can make a pull request. It's quite easy right now to get, make a pull request, to have it reviewed, and to build the JDK. And in 2022, let's say, well, Aquavit is here for some 20 years, but in 20, around 2020, it joined the Adoptium project. And finally, we have, we have also the shared test suite, and we have some, some kind of self open certification that, yes, your JDK is at least semi-stable. So uh, now the question why the Temurin JDK actually arised and we need to answer why it's actually important to have the shared build. Because how you build JDK, it really matters. Yeah? In, when you are building your JDK, you can disable enable features, and I mean a lot of features. You can disable all the garbage collectors, yeah? and your users will be just suffering. You can, all these switches which are 
tuning or performance pretty much. You can disable them, enable them as you need. So yes, we have the same source code, but the individual builds of the JDK are completely different thing. <laughs> Even how you build by the setup of the compiler, it matters. It may be in the case of optimization, it matters more than the, uh, than the XX switches of the JDK. You can include debug symbols both to the native to the to the Java class. You can bundle your certificates. You can use the upstream certificate, whatever. Again, uh, custom crypto and custom tools. Really, how you build, you can get something completely different from the same source code as and somebody else. Uh, this is more like even distribution because yeah, you can really even exclude half of the classes of the JDK. It still will be JDK. And so on and so on. From the top lo level things, where your bug reports are going, it matters. Yes, you can build your own GDK, sell it, and it will be pointing all the bugs, let's say, for example, to the Red Hat, and we will be happy to be fixing your bugs. Now, what you distribute and how you integrate, again, it matters. In the case of RPMs or MSIs, really, you can integrate with the time zones of the system. Well, GDK may not work with that. You may support uh, the GDK without the X, as I am currently obviously doing. Uh, you can ship with Javadoc without, you can distribute the very special builds uh, which are used for uh, debugging the hard issue for the JVM and so on. On Linux, on JVM, on Linux, on li Windows, the issues are more over the same. Really, what you, we, you build completely different GDK from the source base and then you ship even something completely different. Oops, well, that's my headless environment. That's not expected. I think there is missing slide. <laughs> Which was that? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I, I think that was about integration, which I think something interpreted as I'm calling Java. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep that. Okay, uh, so bef before the JDK, uh, before Temurin JDK arrived, we were building the Java from the, at first from incomplete sources, then from moreover complete sources, fi we were finding the missing pieces over the net, and the, really the distribution, individual distributions we were copying from the, each other. Really, Debian introduced some feature, we copied it to Red Hat, Red Hat introduced something. In the same iterations, the integration of the JDK from the RPMs and the packages, it, we were learning from each other what users really need. And as our global knowledge actually was rising, we were continuously asking the same question. Uh, what Oracle is doing? Are we close enough to what they are shipping? How they make it? Make it? And also the certification was dangling around because you cannot build your own G you can build your GDK for yourself, but you cannot build your GDK for somebody else without actually passing a certification. Uh, so yeah, the small vendors could not do that. Um, so all these were reasons to actually have a different reference build than Oracle, because Oracle was not exactly cooperative in these days. Now they are super cooperative. So as a reaction to this missing reference build, uh, London Java user group in 2013, not in 2003, you can find it on the internet, that's not true. I was there in 2016 and it was just starting. <laughs> um, they started the Adopt Open JDK project. Um, it was simple Jenkins somewhere on the net, which was nightly building the open JDK sources, was making even some weekly releases. It had some basic QE, but it was lacking the certification or Oracle <coughs> didn't want to allow that in that time. And in 2016, it got pretty big partner, IBM joined them and they created an API how to get these builds. That started to be interesting for the rest of the world because suddenly you have stable APR where you can get pretty good builds, tested builds of the open JDK. You can see 2018 already millions of down downloads to that API in 2019, so that's pretty jump to 30 millions. And, but the issue with the certification actually remained. You could not use that Java properly because it was not certified. So, Adopt Open JDK joined Eclipse Foundation, which is pretty, and was renamed to the Eclipse Ad Adoptium. This was pretty strong partner for all the fighting with the friends and with the enemies. Generally, they got the right to run, run the Java certification. They established some, let's say, bureaucracy around, but it has pros and cons and it's quite working. 2024, more than billions downloads in the last release. Uh, except the build farm, the Eclipse Adoptium have much more. It has marketplace. You, of course, you can find the Tamburin GDK here. 
but you can find also other vendors, uh, Red Hat, the OpenJDK, uh, Alibaba, Dragonwell, Amazon score to IBM, Smeru Runtime. It's certified by the Java certification and it has its own certification, which calls Aquavit, which means Adoptium, Quality Assurance, whatever. And the test suite is covering most of the JDK, so except saying you are compliant with the JVM specification, you are also, let's say, usable and stable. Adoptium now offers really huge uh, family of the offerings. It's tarball, zips, RPMs, and uh, Debian packages, MSIs, which are actually repacking those zips. It has containers, it has very clearly defini defined support, and it has pretty good sponsors. So if there is an issue with the Temurin, usually the sponsors <coughs> can help to solve that. Otherwise, the clear support is that if your Temurin is failing, it's back in upstream open JDK, unless sponsors helps, which Red Hat is doing, IBM is doing, Amazon is doing, Microsoft is doing, they all actually are helping with the Temurins. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe some slide. <laughs> Oops. Sorry for that. <laughs> so all these finally open and reference built of Temurin JDK had some indirect impacts, which in last, let's say, four years, it's already targeted impact. On the origin, we had a specification that grow to the multiple implementations, to several implementations, and then when OpenJDK was opened, all these features finally melt down into the single code base of the OpenJDK. Similarly, with the builds, we had, yes, we had a sources, cool, but it had so much builds, so much different builds, and now they are again melding together in the one, let's say, best and true Temurin, JDK, because really all the experience, packagers, builders, vendors, joins the modern project and the resulting JDK, I would really call it, let's say, pretty good. So we had a JVM compatibility, blah, 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 and we are getting to the binary identical builds, which is the holy grail all the builders of the JDK are searching in the last 10 years. So finally, only one of us needs to suffer the certification and all others are just binary, binary identical and we are happy. And of course, the Temurin build chain is reusable. Whew, I have last minute. So, well, actually it really works like you get the Temurin build script and you do not even need sources of the JDK. It will clone them, it will get you the container and at the end it will just produce the tarball with the build Temurin JDK. So it was never more simple. It's offered immediate, um, immense number of the switches. So in all cases, you can tune it as you need. That's all. There are some links. Adoptium JDK and OpenJDK GitHub. Uh, upstream OpenJDK Jira versus the GitHub Adoptium issues. Don't mess them up. We are sending the issues from one side to other pretty quickly. And several selected talks from the older uh, speeches about the Temur and JDK. That would be all. Yay! Oh, <laughs> no, doesn't matter. Questions? I already know that most of you is using Temurin, so now you can ask the deeper secrets why it's there. You already know, and for now what it's do, it's can, it can print Java version, I can swear on that. <laughs> you mentioned that Oracle wasn't really helpful in your efforts. In so the beginning. Oh, that's a tricky question. What changed the mind of Oracle to start helping us? I think that they simply see that it can work. Uh, mm -hmm. And the developers always had a pretty good attitude. So it was just, the, actually, I think that Oracle engineers at the end uh, persuaded the Oracle management that it have sense to contribute all these open builders and that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, any more questions? No. In that case, thank you for attention. Enjoy your Temurin JDK. It's there for you <laughs> and all.